Hello, Ben here from Newbold Parish Church. Today, we're going to be thinking about one of the things Jesus uses to describe what it's like to be friends with God. For a moment, I want you to try and imagine what it must have been like to be one of Jesus' disciples, to be one of the people that followed him around 2,000 years ago, trying to learn from what he said and what he did. I'd imagine you'd be scratching your head trying to understand what difference it will make to your life to learn from him about how God works. The first disciples knew a lot about God already from what we call the Old Testament. That's in the first part of the Bible. It details things about their faith which had been passed down through the centuries. They'd also know something about God through praying and through worship. But Jesus had brought a whole new way of understanding God and the world around them. Jesus was saying that people could understand God by listening to him and by learning from him. In the Gospels, which is in the New Testament, which is in the second part of the Bible. It unpacks all about Jesus' life. It talks about the way he taught and the way he lived, the way he died and the way he rose again, which we celebrate at Easter. In it, Jesus gives people a completely different picture about God, using stories and the things around him. One of those things is a grapevine with branches growing out of it, producing lovely, juicy grapes. I really like grapes. I wonder how many of you have eaten some grapes. Maybe you had some for your lunch today. I'm guessing most of us have, had, have tried grapes. So it's not surprising to know that even thousands of years ago, people grew grapes, ate them, and used them to make things like wine. In our Bible reading today, Jesus uses grapes to help people understand how they can be connected to God. So here is what Jesus had to say about the grapes, the vine and the branches. Jesus said, I am the real vine and my father is the farmer. He cuts off every branch of me that doesn't bear grapes and every branch that is grape bearing he prunes back so it will bear even more. You are already pruned back by the message I have spoken. Live in me. Make your home in me, just as I do in you. In the same way that a branch can't bear grapes by itself, but only by being joined to the vine, you can't bear fruit unless you are joined to me. I am the vine, you are the branches. When you are joined with me, and I with you, the relation intimate and organic, the harvest is so sure to be abundant. Separated, you can't produce a thing. Anyone who separates from me is dead wood, gathered up and thrown on the bonfire. But if you make yourselves at home with me and my words are at home in you, you can be sure that whatever you ask will be listened to and acted upon. This is how my father shows who he is. When you produce grapes, when you mature as my disciples. So Jesus said he was like the vine. Imagine the vine growing up out of the ground. A really big, strong vine. A bit like a tree trunk coming out of the soil. Through the trunk comes all the life, comes all the nutrients, comes all the water. And from that vine, branches grow. Jesus said, we are the branches. The branches are connected to the vine so that all that goodness, all that life can come out from the vine, which is Jesus, and be given to us as branches. But of course, the branches need to produce something good. So on a grapevine, obviously, the branches produce grapes. 
So if you can imagine bunches of grapes growing out of the vine, wonderful, juicy grapes. Jesus said he is the vine, we are the branches, and he wants us to produce good things like the grapes on a grapevine. Things that show a sense of life, things that show a sense of something wonderful and beautiful and tasty. In the Bible reading, he also says that if there are branches that are not producing fruit, so things inside of us, things in the way we act and speak and think that are not good, that God can take those away like a farmer does when he's tending to a plant. He can get rid of those things. He can help us to produce more fruit from the places where the fruit is coming so that we can be new and renewed by him. Jesus is the vine, we are the branches. God tends to our needs and we produce good things. What an interesting way of explaining how we can be connected to God and how that connection can grow good things in our lives. I wonder what good things, what good fruit can we grow? Well, the Bible has a very specific list of things that are like fruits, those good things that God can grow inside of us, the way we act and the way we live. These are often called the fruits of the Spirit. And those fruits are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Imagine what our homes would be like if we were producing those kind of fruits. Imagine what our school would be like if we were producing those kind of fruits. Imagine what the whole of our community here in Chesterfield would be like if we were able to produce those kinds of fruits. If our lives showed those wonderful things each day. Well, the Bible tells us that we can live like that. We can have those wonderful fruits in our lives. So I'd like us now to say a little prayer to ask God to give us those new ways of living, those new fruits in our lives so that we can be more like him. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for the wonderful picture of us growing like branches attached to your love. Please help us to grow the fruits of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit more about the Bible and about Jesus and about how he can be fruitful. And I look forward to seeing you very soon. God bless and goodbye.